I am being given the color wheel stink eye by my co-host here because we were talking about the color wheel. I like these colors. Outnumbered over time. Oh, cheap, baby. And I'm coming clean that I did the color wheel in advance for both conventions. And uh, the ladies, they, they honored me by packing what I asked. Yes. But it's it, very nerve-wracking because I, have, I was in white yesterday, and as you know, I spilled a little beautiful. tea, and you were on me not to ruin that white dress, but that was my only white <laughs> well, only dress. because I loved it, too. I couldn't but... go back to my office and get a new one, so no. it was like Wait, a very harrowing event. Five dresses per week you have to bring? We're doing four shows from each. Four yeah, shows. so if you left, like Kennedy left ahead of time. Yeah, so you must have packed like And if you're dresses. smart, you bring five because you have a spare. Yeah. Some of us are not that smart. Well, I oh, work yes. my weekday is my work week rather is Sunday through Friday anyway. So I'm a six day a week. And I had, so to make I, two, a lot of I had to make two substitutions. Yeah. Yeah. I had to make I had to make some late changes with Harris and I said I've got either lime green or I've got uh, mint. And she So said, I, I took out the wheel yep. which was designed by um, scientists working for the federal government. I've now. been on the road since <laughs> June twenty third. Uh -huh. One suit. You need me to help you with that? I, I can. Yeah, one suit. Woo! Are you serious? Yeah. You've been yeah. wearing just one get suit. Clean. We were going to talk to you about that later. Different. Different. Yeah. like Howard Dean with No, it's just a gray suit. You can wear it every single day. Tucker, it's 100 degrees out. outside. You've been wearing that suit every day in this yes. heat? Yes, and I got caught in the rain in it, too. Wow. I wow. it right out. Little gamey. It's a fox yeah. suit. Yeah. It's a rugged. They make I only do suits. colors. I don't do smells. That's as gamey as a flock of elk. Elk don't come in flocks. Well, a murder of elk? What is it? It's a herd of elk. Oh, sure. Well, there you, you can go. watch them, and they, they um, get together. I don't know why I know this. I, I just happened to be there as they were bugling, and it's mating season it for elk. It is elf. amazing. Ah. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. It, I, Estes Park, Colorado. You should attend sometime. It draws in the bears, too. It does. Rutting. The, it's and, the rutting season. And the news anchors. Apparently, Sandra, anyway, so Sandra I literally has this thought bubble going on over her head right now that I can't even begin thinking. to guess about this. Uh, wait, no, I, I see a floating <laughs> pork chop. <laughs> I was thinking I pack one workout outfit and I work out all four mornings at it. Yeah, and, and you notice like we don't come near you in the morning. <laughs> you wash up the sink. <laughs> do you take a shower before you put on your work clothes? Or it's like, what's the big deal? I do like a quick workout in the hotel gym, and, I, and me and Howie Kurtz. Oh my gosh! How, what, what, are you, are you, you how, how, how going to the right now? He does the bike. Mike, but but okay, tell, but tell them what he's gym? wearing. Tell them what Howie is wearing when All he right. if I'm sure Howie wouldn't mind if I no, hold my little care. He loves so, his stuff. The first really morning that I was at our hotel gym, um, I, it's a fitness center. So I was like, oh, thank goodness. I can go get my workouts every morning while I'm here. So I go find the hotel fitness center, and I walk in, and it's like a 10-foot by 5-foot space with, like, one treadmill, one bike, one elliptical, which is kind of not really working. I'm like, wow, this is fancy. So I walk through the door, and the first guy I see, the only person in there, is Howie Kurtz on the bicycle. And the bike is perpendicular to the treadmill, <laughs> okay? So knowing that I've already gone in there to get my run on, I'm like, okay, I don't have time to like wait till he leaves. So, all right, I, just, I get on the treadmill and I'm like running while he's facing me directly biking. <laughs> With the TV on the other side of the treadmill, so like, oh my gosh. so he's facing are you the whole time. What else is facing you? <laughs> are you guys? Are, are you guys? <laughs> oh my god! My jaw is open. That's so uncomfortable. Yeah, I, I, what was, what talk? Was he, Did you acknowledge well, each other? Sandra, what was no. he not wearing? Stop! He looked fine. He was totally fine. Oh, I know he looked fine. He was very nice. I think he so much because. Ian. Um, and then, like, my, my <laughs> sitter... Oh, Kennedy, please tell us. My sitter FaceTimed you... me with my 18-month-old, so I put uh, my phone up there. And then, actually, I just included Howie in the face. And I'm like, yeah. hey, say hi to my son. Yeah. <laughs> so we had a good old time. So and did he say, why is that man riding his bicycle shirtless? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> he was fully oh, my clothed. goodness. That's where you were For going. For the record, he was fully clothed. So okay. this morning, Sandra threw me such a compliment. He was not, not fully clothed on matter. Sunday. She said, Harris, have you been to the fitness center? <laughs> To which I laughed hysterically because I didn't know the hotel had one. It does. No. In fact, Harris Faulkner, when I pulled up at the hotel yesterday, uh, or I was leaving to come back here, you were on the patio enjoying a very nice glass of rosé or whatever you were drinking. Yeah. It, it was, was very uh, It was a little Bailey's. Oh, a little Bailey's. Oh, and Bailey's. I just, to let you know, that not only am I not hitting the gym, but I'm drinking something caloric. Remember that Seinfeld? Did you guys watch Seinfeld? Remember that Seinfeld episode? I have watched every Seinfeld. Okay, Talk so remember me. that episode where they're all going to Atlantic City or somewhere and Elaine can't yeah. go because she has to work? That was me. You're like, want to join us? I was like, oh, you were so... I, I was like, I can't... <laughs> 
<laughs> she had to go back and give me a Bartiromo show. <laughs> After the being on it, yeah. 11 she was so PM, good. Right? She I haven't slept yet. So, yes, I got back to our hotel at about 1.30 this morning and then got on the shuttle at 3.30 this good morning to you. come here. But the nice thing is that there is a late shift. There yes. is there's an entire Fox News contingent yes, there is. of people oh, yeah. on the outdoor patio. So when we pulled up... We were gone, but our replacements... And, and I have to say, to bring this full circle... The only reason I went back and didn't sleep under a desk right here is because I had to go fulfill the color wheel mandate. I had to go and get my blue dress. Oh. Okay, now I feel terrible. So, yes, Harris. So, I'm, you don't leave your, your items here, like a dress for the next day? You don't. I, do I don't think ahead. Oh. I just think for the next five living minutes. Living in the moment. The way yeah. that you I'm describe living. the Democratic convention for you, though, I mean, you're, you're I, let's not put too fine a point on it or miss the opportunity to, I should say. She's, not, she's in demand. I mean, you're one of the bigger voices here. Well, so, I appreciate that. The Democrats I, want you. I also, uh, Fox News wants you. I mean, this has been a busy week. But the way you right. describe it is like a newborn. Like you say, you're not sleeping. It is like a newborn. <laughs> and everybody's as demanding as a newborn, including my fellow Democrats when I run into them places. where Tucker would yeah. not argue with that. No, that's, I'm not in demand here. No, but that Democrats are. Like I was not really in demand in well, Cleveland. Well, although they I have love to say, Julie, they don't love me. Someone gave me the finger on the street yesterday. Oh, that's you but thought they were nice giving way. you a thumbs up. <laughs> well, that nice was another guy actually. So can I, can I actually tell the story that we were talking about during commercial break for me in Cleveland? So I'm walking down yeah. the street in Cleveland. It's all the Republicans, obviously, who all watch Fox News, coming up to me saying, "I love you, I love you," and I keep saying, "Do you listen with the sound on?" Because this is not reflected <laughs> in the emails that I get from you on a daily basis. No. And it just goes to show the power of the station that I think True. people I appreciate it. But, yeah, I think people might watch with the same Oh, thing. a day in the life of reading your tweets. Oh, yes. We see oh, I know. I, I yep. have to say, for uh, Juan God Williams and Julie Roginski and Alan Combs and other people <laughs> who, who, Rivera. <laughs> who, you know, oftentimes hold a minority view Poor. on the channel. It's, uh, well, but it's Geraldo, a great fight. But what I love is when people like get, and she's laughing, because some, some people will dive in and kind of go at them. You and I were talked about on one of the political blogs for a couple of ways that we responded to people. And yours trended for about a day. Yes. Because I don't often respond to people. And I, I think somebody called me. Oh, no, I remember what they called me. Rhymes with door. It was really a nasty tweet. I do tweet. not oh. need And I, and anyone. it was, you know. Did they call you poor? Because that's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The poor is on your skin. No, but I responded and in such a way that I got credit for sounding like, Julie Roginski in a very positive manner. Oh, that's People nice. And the blog picked up and said, Harris has taken a page out of Julie's book and taken the high road. So there we were on the high road together. Here, it, here's it. what these people don't get. I was a mean girl in high school, and that's always stayed with me. And now I'm able to that makes be really much sense. And now. that, and, and I'm able to act it all out on Twitter. Twitter is like oh, way back. See, I took the opposite. I, yeah. I just said I was praying for that person and um, hashtag. Because you're an you. adult and you're a good human hashtag being. Bless you? Unlike me. Yeah, I really. Oh, that's funny that because I have a similar a hashtag. Mine is hashtag your mom. Tucker, did, did, were you like a mention in your yearbook in high school? Like, did you get like best brains, best eyes, anything? best hair? Wow. Best I hair. don't think we had that. We did not have that. <laughs> okay. okay. A woman on Twitter asked me to do this. Okay. <laughs> it's not real. You're, you're actually pulling my wig out. Are you wearing a weave? Yeah, it, always. Great weave. Actually. Really. Wow. They did a really good I job. I told the makeup artist that. She goes, you, I like your hair. I said, it's a wig. And she goes, and I'm quoting, I can see the seam. <laughs> okay. It's not a, wig. <laughs> not a wig. Maybe we love joining you. us. And, and people who don't know it, you were our very first hashtag one lucky guy. Yes. Oh, thank you. Back. Congratulations. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Oh, by show. the way, 4 p.m. Eastern for FNC Digital Hangout. Join us. We'll be in the Skybox. We'll see you then. Right. Bye. Bye.